lot of bad things are happening over here right now. My father and I thought we'd come over and take a look for ourselves. For George Clooney, this is personal. He's been there. He's seen it. He's passionate about the plight of Darfur and wants the world to know. That was April. Now, addressing the UN Security Council, the passion is apparent. My job is to come here today and to beg you on behalf of the millions of people who will die. And make no mistake, they will die. For you to take real and effective measures to put an end to this. That's because since the film star made his documentary, the alarm bells have begun ringing even more urgently. The Sudanese Arab militia, backed by the government, has intensified its campaign of terror against the black population of Darfur. A 7,000 strong force of African Union soldiers has tried to hold the line, but with far too few troops. At the end of this month, the African Union mandate runs out. They will leave, and with them, the aid agencies. In many ways it's unfair, but it is nevertheless true that this genocide will be on your watch. How you deal with it will be your legacy, your Rwanda, your Cambodia, your Auschwitz. The UN has passed a resolution backing a 20,000 strong force to take the African Union's place, but the government in Khartoum refuses to allow it in. It's an issue of sovereignty. An estimated 200,000 people have died. Without the UN, there's nothing to stop the number rising dramatically over the next few months. The biggest problem is that the international community doesn't seem to have any type of strategy whatsoever. Um, they are confused as to what they should do. And, and that alone you know, shows that I think there's a big indifference uh, towards Africa and towards Darfur in particular. And why this impassioned plea now? Well, because Mr. Clooney's an actor and he knows timing is everything. The United Nations General Assembly is on and next week Darfur is on the agenda. He wants it at the top. Tim Marshall, Sky News, Washington.